Hi everyone, welcome back to the Dodge Academy and welcome back to introduction to programming using Java. Okay, since we now know a lot about arrays, we know what are arrays, we know how they work behind the scenes, we know how to store data, we know how to retrieve data. Let's do a quick exercise, kind of mixing two topics. The first uh, problem here is that we have to create an algorithm that asks the user how many grades he wants to input. So basically, we have to ask the grades and then uh, we are going to start the grades one by one until the amount the user chose in an array. And at the end, we just show the average for the amount of grades that he uh, it's inputting. Okay, let's do that. Um, I advise you pause the video and then you know the, the drill. Uh, exercises. Out insert Java class exercise arrays 01. And then PSVM, I'm going to add here the description of the exercise. So the first thing that I have to do is I have to create an algorithm that will ask how many grades the user wants to input. So for that, I know that I need to create a scanner. Scanner, scanner, new scanner system dot in. Okay, so now that we have a way to get the how many grades the user wants to input, I just have to ask the question. How many grades would you like to input? And then scanner.next int and we have here grades amount. Okay. So if I input 5, I will have 5, 10, 10. So basically, after this, I have to store each one of the grades inside an array. So I have to create an array with this size. Since we are talking about grades, let's use double. We can use float as well, but let's use double. So I create an array of double. This will be the grades. And then I'm going to use new double. What's the size? Well, the size is what the user told you great amount. Now, what do we have to do? So basically, we have to ask one by one. So we know how to go over like one by one using four. So for i starting from zero all the way to the grades, it could be grades amount, but I prefer using grades.length. Getting things directly from the array. So going one by one and I want you to do this. So basically from zero until the grades are until the i is lower or less than the grades dot left going one by one what I want this algorithm to do. First thing I would like to say hey now you have to input the grade and then the number of the grade. So south input the grade number and here if I just do this what's going to happen I'm going to say to the user hey input the grade number zero mm. let's see how it looks every once in a while it's better to execute and see how far we are so how many grades I want to input I would say three and can you see here the four is input the grade number zero one two well for the user not all the end users will like to see grade zero. So we have to do a little math here. We just have to tell the i every time it's going to be displayed in the screen to be i plus one. So the first time it will be zero, then zero plus one, it will show number one, and then number two, number three. Remember, we are not assigning a value to the variable i. We are just using the value summing up with one. So if you execute now again and you press five, you're going to see that the number is starting with five, but the array, the iterations are not uh, changed. Okay, so now that we know how to print, control alt L, I'm going to store this somewhere. Where? Inside each one of the positions of this array. So we have here a nice array. Let's say that we have an array with three positions. Now we need to store position 0, 1, 2, also 1. It doesn't matter how many. This will be automatically handled by the algorithm. So, grades. 
what position? Well, the position that I is going over right now. So I, because the first time will be zero, then one, then two, and so on. And I want to store something. What? What the user is going to type. So basically, scanner dot next double. So I'm getting directly from the user and I'm storing inside the memory. And then what are we going to do now? When we reach line 21, we already have all the grades. So if you want, you can print all the, the, the grades or just average. So let's just start with only the average and then technically the exercise is done. But later on, let's show kind of a report. These are all the grades you, you will input it. So the average, we could do a math or we can just print here everything. So how, how do we do this? Well, there are two ways to do this. The first way is creating another for loop. Why? Because remember the grades, it will be each one of the grades. So position one, position two, three, four, all of them divided by the sum of all of them divided by the size of the grades. But when we reach this point, it's already everything stored inside an array. Hmm. So this means that we have to create another for loop. That's one option. Then you create another for loop, you go over one by one, and then you print the average. So let's uh, actually do this, and then I will show you another way. So for, and then I'm going to do the same. So if you don't want to type all the time, there is this option right here, for, you see, for i, we are talking, we talk about for each in the job one for all. So for i, double click, it comes kind of ready. We just have to say here, grades dot length. As I told you, this is done so many times that IntelliJ has kind of a shortcut for you. Okay, so now that we have the for, what I'm going to do, I'm going to print the grade. So I'm going to have here, for example, grade. And then I'm going to press here plus because I want to add one space. So basically I'm just having here, or we can do this. It will look very nice. So what I want to do is this. It's better if you draw here, great. And then I will have the number and then I will have the value of the grade. So this is what I'm trying to achieve here. And then plus grades position i okay so we are going to now do what we have we have to sum this so in this case we have to create here double average and it's zero and then average it will be who the great position I look at this when we go through the first iteration what's the value of grades Let, let's give some values then we understand so let's say we are putting that 10 uh, 9 and then 8 so when I do the first iteration what's going to happen average will be 10 and then when I do the second iteration average will be 9 whoops there's something wrong here so we have to keep accumulating the value so basically it should be average plus grade. So average 10 in the first one, zero plus 10, 10. The second one will be 10 plus nine and so on. And we can print it down here, start average, then average. Okay, control shift F10. How many grades would like to input? Three. First one, 10. Second one, eight. Third one, two so as you can see grades one two three and this is the average actually this is not the average because the average should be this divided by uh da -da -da. grades amount dot not the grades amount but the grades dot length so you have to you have the sum and then you have now well, if you do this, this is something interesting. So if I do like this and I just 
leave average right here if someone does not see this line it looks like it's already the average when actually this is not the average this is the sum of the grades so this is something that can be misleading because if i don't have the the average well i'm not i should not call the average so if i just do it here at this line it means that if i do it right here again for example if i call south average here well this is not average so let's rename this variable uh grades sum okay now it looks better because when i reach in line after this 25 it means that this is the sum of all grades cool so Ctrl shift f10 again and then let's start again three grades 10 8 2 and there you go 10 8 2 and the average is six so this is the first one the first way I'm going to just copy this entire class, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Uh, I will keep the same name, but just 0, 2. Now, what's the second way I wanted to tell you? It's basically just doing exactly the exercise. I don't want to print the entire thing. I just want the average. So I will remove this. And then I will move up the sum right here. So I have double grades. I like to declare all the variables kind of like in the beginning. And then uh i will get this grade sum right here so i'm inputting the the data directly from the user and then i'm going to get grades position i i have to do exactly the same so grade sum plus the grades in the position that the user is giving here let's check this let's control alt l Ctrl Shift F10. I want 3, 10, 8, 2. And we have the same average. So if we do exactly like the exercise is asking for, basically there is no need for a second 4. But we did some improvements here. We have the second 4, we have the double here. So the main difference is that I'm using the first one as soon as the user inputs a number, I'm saving that number and some uh using this grades sum to get that value and later on i just get the the average so two ways uh, of doing this probably you have way more ways of doing but this is uh, good enough for now so i hope you enjoyed see you in the next video bye bye